In this video, we'll be constructing a triangle that is congruent to a given triangle. There are different ways to do this construction because there's different ways to prove triangles are congruent. We are going to be using the side, side, side method in this example. And that means that all of the sides of the pre-image or the original picture are gonna be congruent to the corresponding sides in the image or new picture. So we'll be doing congruent line segment constructions here. So here is our given triangle and we need to draw a congruent triangle. And that means again, all three sides are going to be congruent to one another. So we have to start by doing some sort of measurement here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put the gold ring of my compass on one of these points. And you know what, I'm gonna actually bold all of these points so they're easier to see through my safety compass. And I'm going to find a measurement that lines up nicely with the other point. So in this case here, I can see one and I'm just going to draw a little arc through it just to show that I measured it. All right, over to the side, I'm going to draw an initial point. And using that same measurement, I'm going to draw an arc. I'm basically doing the congruent line segment construction. Now, remember, we don't need the triangles to be parallel to one another. So I am going to draw it in this side and I'm going to attempt to make it look parallel. But if I put a point here on that arc and I went this way, that would be fine too. Okay, so I'm just going to use my straight edge. And now I know that these two sides are congruent to one another because of how I've measured them. Okay, let's do this again for another side. So let's say I now do this side of the triangle. I'm gonna start on that piece again, and I'm going to find a measurement that lines up nicely with it. And when I find one, I'm gonna draw a little arc through it to show I measured it. Now slide your compass over here, repeat, and I'm going to draw an arc. Now I'm not going to connect this yet and I'll show you why we have one additional step to do. I have still to measure this third side. So I'm gonna put the gold ring here on, the, on this top right point and I'm gonna measure this side of the triangle. And you can see that my two arcs intersect there. That's going to help us get our third point. So I'm going to put the gold ring over here. I'm kind of just repeating the process from one triangle to our new one. And then again, remember whatever measurement you used here, I'm going to repeat over here. And the goal is to get them to intersect. Mine is going pretty close to the end of the page here, but they still do intersect. And that's where my third point is going to be. So now I'm going to use my compass as a straight edge to connect these two points and these two points. And now I can see that these two sides are congruent to one another. These two sides are congruent to one another and therefore we have the triangles are congruent by side, side, side. 